Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel by Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a project on the fitness application. As you all know that being fit, staying fit, having fit routine is a must nowadays. So this is a, our gimmick on the fitness application. So let's have a look at the requirements. First we require a coding environment, a text editor where we are going to write our code. VS Code is a most trustable text editor, but again, it depends on you where you are going to write your code. Secondly, we need an operating system. Like I have used your Windows 10. Again, it depends on you which operating system you want to go for. This project is based on HTML, CSS and JavaScript. It is basically a front-end project. And our requirement analysis includes a HTML file, a JS file, CSS and Bootstrap. Basically, all the images, frame icons have also mentioned when we'll go and see the code, then you will get to know. Now let's move to the VS code and let's see what does this code have in store for us. This is the index.html. So basically we have first initiated it by the doc type HTML, the language is selected. Then we have the cat set, then the compatibility, the viewport, the content, everything is set. The title is a fitness and nutrition app. That is Futras. Then we have a link relative like the uh, whatever, like we have a icon. We do have a fav icon. So that is the shortcut icon which we are going to use here. Then we have linked it to the, the style sheet has been linked into the style.css. Then we have linked the pre-connect to the fonts of Google API and gstatic. Then the uh, Google API links has mentioned here. This is the header. In the header, we have a class, a div class called container. Then we have used the span, the class span under which we have a nav bar. We have a nav navigation toggle button, a close menu, a nav bar list in which we have the nav bar links. In we have about C. In the nav bar items, we have home, about, course, and blog. These are basically certain tabs which are there in our application. Then Oh, here we have a, a primary button, a toggle button and a menu outline. So basically what your website basically has. It has a toggle option in which you can toggle between the buttons and menus. Then we have a menu outline. We have overlay. Then this is your, our main tab. In the main tab we have certain sections. In the sections we have put a background image and the URL is this. This is basically our banner. The banner image. Then the class is set as container and we have a hero subtitle which we have a fitness and basically in every page the hero class is basically in every page a certain section will remain constant. You will see in every website a certain uh, section of the website always remains constant that is what the hero uh, button or hero title or hero text does. Then we have this uh, social link that is logo Facebook, social link of logo, the name is logo Skype. Then we have a logo Twitter and a logo LinkedIn. Basically all the social connects, like connect us on this, you can join our site, you can have a look on this site, you can connect us, you can have feedback, you can give us feedback, you can have our suggestions. So basically our social connects have been provided here. Then this is a service menu. In the service menu, you have a uh, section service under which you have a container and you, you have the class of unordered list class of grid list. Here you have a service card, card icon, card text, there will be a button, a service card active in which you will have a card icon and the card icon will be linked to an image which width, height, loading, everything is mentioned. If this fails, if this cannot be loaded, then your alternative will be basic course. It will show basic course. Only a simple writing, no CSS, no font magic, only basic course. So I know it's, you are, it sounds a bit uh, like boring. You cannot understand what I'm saying. But when I show you the actual page, you will get to know what I'm explaining actually. So be with me. I know it's a little boring to like understand each and every line of the code and not be able to imagine not be able to visualize what I'm speaking but stay cool be with me you will enjoy it when I'll show you the web page
these are actually the basics you need to know and then let's uh, move to the about so these are basically the clauses which i'm explaining you you got to know about the home you got to know about the service now we are in the about section in the about section we have about banner image holder about content is there like what are the content stands for i have not given a particular content here because uh, practically speaking i have not built this like the gym tra the training application the fitness application to be like for a gym purpose this is basically to explain it's a prototype if you want to change if you want to put actual information then you can just cut this or uh, delete this and you can write the, um, like what you want to write i have given it lorem ipsum it's just a it can be done in, in a jiffy so i have not like entitled myself entirely to the curriculum so this is basically to make you understand again this is the about uh, the h3 title the h3 is what heading class 3 so now this is the course section in the course section we have the section codes we have the title wrapper there is a grid list and in the course card we have certain nutritional benefits the children nutrition cooking image cover card content card price everything is there so basically when you go for a gym there are certain services which they provide to you because this is basically a fitness as well as a nutritional application so we have put here the gym aspect as well fitness aspect as well we are going to track your fitness guide you on fitness as well as we are going to move to the nutritional benefits got it then we have a course card again the these are the certain courses which we offer like the application basically offer not do i don't offer the application offers then these are basically those uh, rudimentary stumps now this is the blog in the blog what what happens in the blog is like basically people go and write about certain things so we'll have a blog card we'll have a author the card author name the uh, what the card what the card has the content where we are going to put the content the text area part the card text okay so these are basically the blog area where a user is going to write now let's move to the style dot css so basically here uh, as you know this is a cascading style sheets basically whatever fonts like whatever things you have written in the html that is going to have a good look aesthetic look a better visualization a better creativity in css okay so this is a typography part uh, the, then we have the section padding then shadows radius transition again this can be changed the margin padding the box sizing border boxing text decoration color background image icons buttons input body everything can be changed here basically what you need to do you need to go there you need to select what you want to change go like see the body part here you had a body clause right i showed you before let me show you again here you have a body so the tab the, the tag until the body is going to be changed accordingly this so the uh, the body whatever i have written inside the body tag that background color is going to be white the color is going to be gray the font size is 1.6 rem rem is relative like it's relative according to the background and line height will be this then the scroll bars are set the reuse style is set the button secondary button primary button hero section your headings image cover image holder everything is changed here everything is made made in such a way that it will look good in the website so this also you can't visualize right now when i'll show you when i'll run the score when i'll show you the actual website you'll be able to know this is basically a complete front end website guys there is no back end there is no storage of any data this is completely front end user experience then we have used your javascript here we have added a event of an element this is the nav bar toggle like the functionality is when you go to the nav bar when you select on the nav bar when you select on those three lines then a menu pops up that is basically due to javascript okay that is the toggling of the app bar you can add certain events you can make the header active like whenever you because it's the only a front end part so suppose you click on a blog so the blog is not going to open because this is front end there is no back end so when you click on the blog you will be directly moved towards the home section that is the responsibility that is the clarity of work that is the function which we are going to show you then this is the uh, basically the scroll reveal event so here we are going to have a loop and in the loop in the sections array in each and every index element we are going to 
put a certain data so i think you are a bit uh, like confused like what i have just said no issues we'll go we'll see the website so see this is our website we have the hero element here we have home about us all courses blog contact sign up and this is what i showed the gray color part this lifestyle for your fitness not only diet it has survived not only five senses but also so connect us see the facebook's skype twitter linkedin so just see the visualization okay then see the women's course basic course the men's course so what do you want to click so accordingly okay so this is what i because this is only front end when i'm clicking on this i'm going to move to the home section got it now let's go to the all course sections here this is also responsive about us so what is this is the instructor meet the instructor so you go to the about page so let's go to the about, about us so this is our about us wala page which shows i'm not mentioned here anything this is the basic lorem ipsum you can basically add whatever you want then all course these are basically the courses the fitness and nutrition courses the prices are also mentioned here the at time the lectures everything is mentioned here then let's move to the blog in the blog we have this blogs where people have written the dates i am not mentioned anything here because this is basically a prototype you can change the writings then you can download the mobile app on google play or app store so i hope you understood the working of this project for more interesting project ideas you know what to do stay tuned to this channel thank you and have a great day Thank you.